DJI Mini 3. Latest update. Got that coming up next. Bill the Drone Reviewer here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The other night I hosted Rotor Talk Live and was joined by Mr. Marcus Crawford and Mr. Ron Brown. We spent the better part of the evening discussing all the latest regarding the DJI Mini 3, including the pricing, the availability, the release date, options, and so much more. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. The main topic of the evening here is, is the Mini 3. Oh, our beloved and, Mini 3, huh? Yeah, and there's just so much. By the way, I love I love what you did with your place, Ron. Well, Without you know, that. I had Art's uh, decorator come over and do it for me. That absolutely just deserves a lot of kudos, I'll tell you that. <laughs> a, a lot for sure. Um, you know, first of all, you know, I got to say this. There's so much going on right now about the Mini 3. It, it's not funny, okay? Now, we're going to take a look. I'm going to post some articles up here, and then, then we're going to kind of get into it. But, um, you know, uh, the the first thing here is um, we're going to show an article from, from High Kestaloo, um stating that the release date is December the 9th, okay? Now, yeah. we've all seen the Mini 3. It best by eight fifty nine ninety five with the DJRC, okay? Um, mm -hmm. You know, and now they're talking about, you know, he, he states in the article that um, a release date of December 9th seems very realistic here, all right? Now, um, we also saw here um, many three images suggest nearing launch of a step-down version of the Pro drone, okay? Um, and there were some more pictures of, of it here. and some of the pricing on this and then we saw many three leaks after product clues pricing confusion update okay um you can see what the apparently like the the fly more combo is is like with this um you know and, and there has been okay dj currently sells a mini three pro with rcn1 for 759 909 with the rc and 699 for the drone alone and the mini two at 499 599 is a fly more combo only leaves 100 bucks between the highest price Mini 2 and the drone only Mini 3 Pro. So, how will DJI price a new Mini 3 with relatively slim differential? Um, you know, that's a good talking. question, Bill. Uh, you know, we're, we're in, in the price department, where it is, it does this fall between the um, the Mini 2 and the Mini 3 Pro? Yeah, you know, that's a that's a really good question, Ron. You know, and and they're talking, um, this this Igor had 858. And that's exactly what you see on the price tag at Best Buy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and, and it's just, you know, it, it's like, you know, too many, you know, th that saying too many cooks spoil the soup kind of thing. It, it's just, this is information overload right now, you know, because uh, we're, we're just getting bombarded by stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And if this com comes out on the 9th, which I think it, it probably will, okay? Now, they were a lot of people were saying in the chat last night in Drone Nation, the 14th. Then we have the 14th it's as like, well, including, including our, our, our friend from up north. Uh, okay. You know. So, you know, uh, and, and C11, his tweet, he did... He does say it might it might come out around the 9th or whatever. He, he, he kind of leaves a little uh, wiggle room in his wiggle statement. Room. Well, yeah. you know... It's also the possibility they released the teaser on the 9th, okay? That's true. But I think last night they were saying that everything will happen the same day. The the, the teaser and the drone are going to come okay. the same day this time around. Wow. And, and, and the 14th, I mean, that leaves little to no time to get one before Christmas. I mean, or to send one for, as a gift for Christmas, you know? Um and, and, well, and, and really, at least, at least we know there'll be in one big box retailer in the U.S. We know that's confirmed. That's true. I mean, it's already at Best Buy. You know that. So if if you're looking to to be a, a early adopter of the Mini Three, that's that's where you're going to get it. Now, I, I wanted I wanted to backtrack just a tad here. Okay, um, you know, as far as what the equipment that's going to be on the Mini Three. Okay, now we do know it's going to have vertical shooting. Yes. We do know it's going to have 4K 30 is going to is going to be the best best frame rate that you're going to get on that. 
And we do know that there's no um, obstacle avoidance on it. Um, but they did talk about front sensors. Okay. I, I, did I know that was weird. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. What is all that about front sensors? I mean, it's like, yeah, it has bottom sensors, but and what they are said, front sensors? They, they 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 were saying in the and drone DJ they were quote they were saying p position, you know, uh, 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 sensors. Well, ain't we we we've been familiar with positioning sensors, but they've always been in the bottom. They've never been any place else on a drone. So is it, yeah. it going to be a, a first or you know? Yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah, and. and and, and that just, you know, again, you know, we're th getting that, that water's getting real muddy with all, all this coming out here. And, um, you know, my whole take on this is this, Ron, okay, w with such a slim margin between like where, you know, lining up between the Mini 2, the Mini 3, the Mini 3 Pro, okay, why wouldn't you get the Mini 3 Pro? I mean, you know, yeah. really, yeah. I mean. If you look at no, it, you bring up a good point. Say you're an average consumer, you're not a drone nerd like us, or whatever. You're just an average consumer and you're in Best Buy, and the clerk showed you the box for the, the pro, and he showed you the box for just the mini three. Just the mini three. I mean, you're gonna be so confused on, on which one's the better one for, for you, you know. Like yeah. is, it, is it is it worth it to save a hundred dollars and, and, and get the regular over the pro or you know, uh, it's going to cause the average consumer some real dilemmas out there. I think, and, and this is me, you know, I think DJ, DJI's marketing has been, it was, it was, it was, people are starting to catch on to this, Ron, because I've seen a lot of comments in, in my, in my group, Facebook groups and, and out on my community tab and out on Twitter, I've seen a lot of people comment, you know, DJI is doing this, they're releasing the best version first. And then when they release that best version, they'll sell it standalone, but it's not available immediately. Okay. Uh -huh. Which has been true with the Mavic 3 and true with the Mini 3 Pro. Right. right. Okay. Here's Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Gentlemen, and I use that term very loosely. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm glad Marcus is here. We get done with the Mini 3. I want to hear about the Atom SE. <laughs> yeah. The potential. Um, you know, I, I was just telling Ron, you know, what DJ's marketing has been, you know, release the top of the line, the Mavic 3, okay, and then have a Mavic 3 standalone available, but not available at launch, all right? Mm -hmm. And then it's like maybe what? How many X months later, you know, we're going to come out with a Mavic 3 Classic and then a Mavic 3 Classic by itself, but not available immediately at launch and the Mini 3 Pro, okay, and the Mini 3 Pro by itself, but not available immediately at launch. Uh, when it's I looked yesterday, the Mini 3 Pro still wasn't wasn't available yesterday to buy as a standalone. Yeah. On DJI site. Yeah, you still can't buy it standalone. That's well, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying yesterday. Yesterday it wasn't available as standalone. Maybe today it is, but yesterday it wasn't. But, but well, you Ron, know. if we buy that drone, it's going to be the RCN1 then probably. <laughs> well, you know. And I'm I'm saying all this, Marcus, to to, to like you know, and, and Ron and I were just talking about this. You know, the price point between a Mini Three and a Mini Three Pro, now with all we're seeing, it's not that much of a difference. You know, I mean, I, 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 I agree. The, yeah. the, the, two, the two biggest things people want to know, Bill, is you know, because the the these these bundles muddy the waters. What 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 will the price of just the standard kit be for the um, the Mini Three? How much will it be for just drone controller and one battery? What's the price of that kit? And that's yeah. what we don't know. We don't. And know we don't know the yet. standalone price of just buying the drone or whatever. But 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 basically, you know, uh, once they establish that price of the base kit, we'll know how cheap it really is or, or not cheap, depending on how you're looking at it. Yeah, yeah, and and that's something. We'll, we're not going to find out until probably you know the fourteenth when it when it actually you know. Hey, Bill, Marcus and I have speculated. We have no information on this what at all. But the fly more combo that that was found in Best Buy and what we've seen a lot on, on the, uh, you know, uh, all over the social media. Do you assume that's that that's the standard battery? That's all three of the batteries are the standard battery. You know, that's a great question. I, I would be hard pressed to say. 
the the other two would be the extended batteries, but who knows? But but see, if they want to keep keep this under the two two hundred two, you know, the two hundred fifty grams, you know, it's going to be the standard batteries. Yeah. yeah. So you know that's probably where they're going with this because they want to, you know, they want appeal to um, those over in Europe and the UK. Um, and, and go ahead, Marcus. Hey. Hey, Bill, can I answer Mark White? Uh, he's yeah. asking me about the Light Plus. It, uh, UPS, they said they were going to deliver it today. Then they sent me another email late this afternoon and said it's going to be tomorrow. So I assume it's the holiday rush. So the short answer is I don't have it yet. Well, yeah. drone delays. That is, you know, that nothing moves slower than a drone when it's in when it's on a when it's on a truck. That, that, no matter how fast they're in the air, they they they're slow movers on the back of a delivery truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah now, if, you, if, you, if you were something you didn't really want, that would be here like in the, the like the next day. Oh yeah. yeah, I've had like you know like shaving cream or shampoo or toiletries or stuff. It's here the next day. It's yeah, a, and, and you already I have half a bottle still left, so it's no emergency. But it shows up the other next day. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, some some of those toy drones that 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 I've had. I mean, they're they're high speed drones. Like. I, I've, I've uh, taken them with me to give to some of my friends out at the drag strip, you know, some of my teammates, you know, they want a drone, so I'll find one to give to them. Well, I take it in the Corvette down the quarter mile once, and I tell them, I said, this is a fast drone. I've had it up to 120 miles an hour. And they, go, <laughs> they go, wow. And I go, yeah, it was sitting in the seat next to me in the Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> and also, that was a fast delivery. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. UPS should switch to Corvettes for drone deliveries. There, there you go. There you go. Hey, but there's a lot of chatter about the uh, the Mini Two still being such a valid product. I just had a conversation on Facebook with Ryan Duvall and John Coopy about it. I, I just think the conclusion that I think we're all coming to, and we talked about it on Drone Nation yesterday, is really there's still going to be a huge market for the DJI Mini Two based on price and i i think ron has been on top of that uh this whole way that the the big deal about these these drones often is price point it, it and, and, and i don't think the mini three the mini three is going to have a sharp enough price point to to put the nail in the coffin on the mini two i don't know if we, marcus and i discussed this i don't know if we said this last week that, you know we're, you know how we're all accused of being dji fanboys bill Oh, yeah. We get all that. But even inside the, the D-Drive fanboys, there's another subculture of Mini 2 fanboys. And they're a tighter knit group than we are. And, and, and they love that drone. And, um, you know, and, and, you know they, they, uh, they're they not going to, you know, resist it. Something's much higher. Hey, while Laura, you got Laura's message up, can I wish uh, Lauren a, a happy birthday up there yeah. in uh, Canada? A very happy birthday to Lauren. Yep. Up in North Texas, you mean. Yeah, North North Texas, north, way North Texas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and, and look at Lawrence's comment here. So, um, you know, that kind of speaks for itself. Well, um, that's a bummer, and and you know what that does is that leaves room for I, you know, I hate to say it, but what I loved about the Mini SE is that it kind of kicked a lot of these crummy, lesser, quote bargain drones, I'll call them, to the curb. Because for three hundred dollars you could get that thing and it worked well. So now the mini two and the prices come way down. If those aren't available, it doesn't give people a lot of choice, and so they're going to still be buying some of those drones that we yeah, uh, at Adam and Adam S. Well, I wasn't going to say the word, but yeah, that's, and, that's and, the point. But you know what? I, you know, um, I, I agree with everything you just said, Marcus. But what we don't know is how many mini twos are already sitting on warehouse shelves. For different companies around the world, even if they discon even if they stop making the Mini Two tomorrow, how many hundreds of thousands of units maybe are still sitting on warehouse and stuff? You know, already made and ready and, I'll, and, I'll and tell selling you, all throughout the good part next year. Ron, to your point, I I have thought of exactly that. And the other the other big thing about it is remote ID. You're not going to have to worry about remote ID with the Mini Two. And you know, I've thought about maybe just picking up an extra one. Just for that very reason, just to have have another one, because like I, I suspected what Lauren said is that they will discontinue it. And uh, yeah, I mean, that you know, and yeah. And, and Maddie was saying, no, it won't work with uh, with the DJI RC. That's true. 
but you know, so what? We'd have to use the RCN one controller. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think there's there's definitely some advantages to it. Yeah, yeah, and and and, and you know, and, and I, I kind of started this off this right before you joined us, Marcus, and, and the whole thing about this whole pricing thing, okay, and where DJI's kind of kind of been going as far as that's concerned, and you know, and, and some people have have have, have chatted in the comments with 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 good. With good reason not a lot of people can afford a thousand dollar drone okay and and that's a point that's very well taken and you know dji hit a real niche with the mini 2 in that price point okay that was a very affordable drone with a lot of features in it and now it's going to be gone bill ryan duvall just picked up the the costco had a deal he picked up the two battery version with the little bag and all that of the mini two for $389. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, gee whiz. That's, that's kind of a no brainer, isn't it? That's great. That's crazy. And see, yeah. you know, what they're doing is in a way they're forcing you to go towards the mini three. Okay. And they're forcing you and, 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 and most people will say, you know, and, and Ron and I talked right before you got on, you know, most people look, you know, oh, it's um, eight fifty nine for the Mini Three, and if I spend another one hundred twenty five dollars more or whatever, I can get the Mini Three Pro, you know. Right. So, oh, we'll just get the Mini Three Pro. Oh, we'll finance it, no problem, you know. That that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. But and, no, and yeah, Marcus, I think I think Marcus made a great point. If if they if DJ gets out of the other under under sub five hundred dollar drone market by eliminating the Mini Two and the Mini SE, and they only have I'm just spitballing here. They only have a $700 Mini 3 as their lowest price product. There, there's a big hole there, a big gap there, Marcus. Big, 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 huge gap. Hey, I want to address what Mike says, uh, TX Arch Drone Guy. Uh, Mike, uh, it, because the Mini 2 is under sub 250 gram, you won't have to have, you, leave, you don't even have to put a number on it. You, you And it will not have a uh, remote ID, and, uh, you know, unless you use it. For commercial purposes and then and then you would so uh i think that's what's going to make the darn thing really popular yeah and, and, and you know it's this okay and, and it begs the question and, and i'm going i'm going to come back to you guys you know with that gap in pricing you know dji's always hit a particular niche in terms of you know they had something that was under you know, at least maybe maybe one, if not two, under a thousand dollars, and then now it's like a thousand to fifteen hundred, and then now it's like fifteen hundred to you know two grand. But they always just seem to at least have a couple of drones under a thousand dollars. Yeah, well, Bill, Bill, you remember the first cheap drone, uh, the Spark. The Spark, their, yeah, their first drone that was somewhat affordable. I think it was five nine nine without you know without the controller, and without, that that yeah. was a big hit because of the price. I'll go back further than that, Ron. I agree with you on the Spark, but remember the Phantom 3 standard was right around, it was under 400 bucks. And, and at the same time, at, at about that time, the, the Phantom 4 was, I don't know, what was it, Bill? 1,200 bucks, something like that. Yeah, it was about 1,200, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, and you could buy that. That's quite frankly, that's what got me into GPS drones. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Phantom 3 standard for 400 bucks. I thought, hey, I can buy this. I can see if I like this hobby and it's exactly what happened yeah and i mean yeah you're right the, the the phantom three i don't know on launch but i mean when the phantom three was when when they were trying to move them out they were 399 for for the holiday sales or whatever yeah i think that's what i bought the end of life yeah yeah well you know a lot of the dunes were out there yeah you know 107 drones posted you know they got that new headquarters they have to pay for over in shenzhen um you know, it's funny, but you know, maybe it's a valid point. Maybe that's why they're they're doing. You know, they're they're needing to generate more income. But hey, Barclays bringing up a good point. Mini Three has a way better camera. It, of course, it does. And, way and better we all camera than what? Than the Mini Two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But, it better has it cost twice as much, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, okay, you know when. When there's an absence in, in, in a market, okay, somebody will jump in to try to fill it, okay? And, you know, Autel is still there with, you know, with the, with the Nano. 
And you can and, buy a nano still to on this day late for five ninety nine to stay in her kit. Yeah. You see, you know, and you know, DJI and see, that's why I have a hard time believing DJI is going to abandon that five hundred to say seven hundred and fifty dollar segment. Okay, because there's a lot of drones to be sold in, in that in that in that price point. I just don't see them abandoning that. That's like you know, that's like giving up a prized airplane route to somebody. That's like open the door back up for the Phoebes and Hubsons of the world to get back in there. Okay, well, let me throw this at you then, guys. Okay. Uh, because I thought of this when they, this is called the Mini 3, right? Nothing after it. What if there is a Mini 3 SE in the works with a lesser camera, you know, I don't know what else, how, how else they would change it. That came in right at that $400 price point, let's say. Uh, you know, that would make sense. Uh, just well, that would really bring the wars up, Bill, if we had three different Mini 3s and then trying to sort all that out at the store. The Mini yeah. 3 SE, Ron. Mini 3, you know. What's, uh, Marcus, what's, a, what's, your, what's, your, what's your bottom price on that SE? Well, I'd say I'd say three ninety nine, just under 400 bucks, and I think it'd be a hit. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, no, I, mean, I don't mean just the drone itself. I mean the drone, a battery, the controller. I do uh, just under four hundred bucks, okay. and I think it would be a hit. Yeah, yeah, I think oh, that yeah. that's a very that's a very valid point, Marcus, and that's well taken. See again, because you know, you know, while a lot of times we can't figure out DJI what they're doing and everything here, I don't think they're going to leave a segment open to their competitors. Okay, even though their competitors, there's still a pretty, I think, pretty big gap between between them and Autel. They're not going to leave that open. Okay, and and, and I. And I think what you said makes a lot of sense, Marcus, because they they don't want to leave a, a a segment by itself that that marketing segment. They don't want to do that. That's a that's an area where they can sell drones and sell them easily. Three ninety nine. That's a no brainer. Okay, people will hear that Mini three, boom. You know they'll go out and they'll buy it. But it has to be price right. Yeah, it had you. You're exactly right, Ron. Because a lot of people right now, because I did a poll, okay, uh, out on my community page, and I had over 82 percent. I asked, "Would you buy the DJI Mini 3 for 859 with a DJI RC?" 82 percent said no. Okay, hmm. and, and and you know what's driving that? You know, I would I would say for the most point, that's going to be that price point. Mm -hmm. it, it really, it really is, and. It's gonna it's gonna push people back and push them away from something like that, and you know that's just that's just one of these things. And I think DJI is taking this all in, but you know again, you know with they discontinuing the Mini, so for a, a point in time they're just gonna have the Mini Three and the Mini Three Pro, um, you know, is their entry level drums, and you know they're gonna be on the high end of of you know knocking on a thousand dollars, kind of a thing, and that's just gonna be. The way it's going to be until they would come out with a solution like Marcus said. That's just my thoughts. Now, Lauren's thoughts is uh, my he says my opinion. DJI is starting to price themselves out of the market. Yeah, I I do not agree with I do not disagree with Lauren at all on that. Bill, I decided to go over to Ron's house. I see that. Mm -hmm. Boy, you guys have the same interior decorator. I like that. Yeah, our Carlson's uh, his name. I'll give you his. I'll give you his card after the show. Yeah, this is actually Art Carlson's secret hangout, and Ron and I are just borrowing it. Uh, that's all. Yeah, it's an Airbnb. Right, it's an Airbnb. We'll yep. be out of here in a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, uh, I'm you know the. We kind of know what we need to know about the Mini Three, or we think we know what we need to do about the, you know, the abilities of it and what it has. But the the big mystery on either the ninth or the fourteenth or any day in between, we just want to see the final pricing on all the particular bundles and yeah. availability. And if you can buy the drone by itself right off the bat, right, Ron? I mean, which that, that's going to be, I, we could tell you right now, no, no, and that's a, that's a that's a, 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 you know, I'll do a, a, a you know, a. Um, the Joe uh, Namath, uh, the DeMarco Moore uh, pick there. No, it won't, it won't be available on day. Very one. unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's like a Joe Namath guarantee to win the Super Bowl kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would be about 99.9% with you, Ron. I agree. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not going to happen on either the 9th or the 14th. So, and then, okay, you know, just, just a little bit of a switching gears here. Okay. 
Oh, well, just before we move on too much, well, we kind of know the availability, Marcus, since it's already in Best Buy. The minute they release it, Best Buy's got it back in the counter again. So we know whatever date it is, it's already it's already in stores. Okay, yep. I'm going to throw a little curveball here, okay? Uh-oh. The Pocket 3, all right? Oh, there's where been, is it, Bill? Yeah, there's been, well, you know, our buddy Acetalev, you know, in his predictions for this year, that was that was in his list. And, yes. you know, we're, the clock is ticking here. It's December 6th, and we haven't seen anything from Deals Drone or, you know, anything from Acetalev himself. You know, nothing on this. Maybe they'll um, bundle that with a mini three. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's why the price is so high. Yeah. Well, they're going to have to figure out how to get a one inch sensor and still make it small and compact, right? Yeah. I agree with Marcus, Bill. I think the C11 was right. I think it was scheduled to come out for the quarter this year, but I think they ran into problems. I think you're uh, right. I think, that, you know, like Marcus said, maybe they tried to bite off a little bit more they can chew. Maybe they tried to put a one sensor on there and they just couldn't get, get it worked out, you know, and, and it kind of, you know, going to push the release maybe into the first or second quarter of, uh, 2023 that's, which that's a, which you know the pocket two is such a good item it's no big deal it, it's not a prize to be begging and be upgraded in, in right, fact uh, right. one of those deals, if they put a one one in sensor in a bill and they double the price of the pocket two the pocket uh, the pocket two owners would just keep it rather than pay like seven eight hundred dollars for a one inch pocket three yeah yeah and and you know at this point in time, too, you know, as far as, you know, parts availability, um, you know, I know they were having some protests over in China over lockdowns because they've been real strict regarding that. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on over there right now. So there are some know. moving pieces and that could be partially why we're seeing the higher prices as well. Yeah. Uh, Their yeah. costs and, are going up, right? Yeah. And, and, and part of that could be in that tariff and all that kind of good stuff, which I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Not at all. Well, well, I, we know that to be a fact because uh, yeah. their their products are cheaper uh, in the Great White North. Just, yeah. just over the border, you, in North you know, Texas, I'm cheaper now. So yeah, so yeah. Let's try. strong dollar has something to do with that. I'm Look, sure we could probably. You know what? Let's do road trip and go up and see Lauren. Why not? Heck yeah! Now, if we brought those items back over the border, we'd have, we'd have to declare them and pay the tax bill. More than likely, yes. So we'll, <laughs> you got they got you coming, they got you going. You're not gonna you're not gonna win 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 in a game like that. That's for sure. I can, I, I can just about tell you that. So hey, before we run out of time here, can Marcus gave us gives an overview of the newest mini drone on the market, a 299 sub 250 gram drone. In fact, he's gonna go get it. And um, Bill, um, I want to hear about it. Features. Uh, Marcus, I don't have the Facebook thing up here. What's that? What's that? There uh, it is. What's the OA called on that? What was that? Shake, shake Vision or? Yeah, well, I, you, you, did, did they say Shake Vision? I, I don't know, but it's got electronic image stabilization. It, they got a special stabilization on that called like Shake 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 yeah, Plus that, Group Vision or something. They yeah, even talked a, about it on Drone DJ today. I mean, I'm surprised. I am surprised they didn't have Marcus's review up there. Well, I'll tell you what Drone DJ did was just an ad for Potensic. Honestly, yeah, I, that was I, an I lost some respect for Drone DJ over that one. Just an now, advertise. Marcus, is that is this 299 price point? Now, is this a threat to the Mini SE and say the the DJI uh, Mini Mini Two Mini you know line of drones? Well, let me tell you, the folks at Potensic. Uh, have been on me all day long to take that review down. Uh, they don't care for it much, uh, but I but I told them I said no. That's my experience with the drone, and and uh, you know I spent a lot of time problem solving on that. It's not something that just happened in a day, and I have hours and hours invested into that little drone, messing around with it, trying to get it to work, and working with Potentic, new firmware, app updates, etc. Uh, and what you see in that video is my experience with the drone. Now, if, if some other reviewers have have a different experience, they have a different experience. But that's uh, that's what I saw. So you know, it is what it is. And and I actually told that to Potensic too. I said, listen, I didn't do anything but show just exactly what happened with the drone, and they they couldn't argue with it. They agreed. They still wanted me to take it down though. 
Well, that drove, the Dallas like there were a lot of comments and Marcus. negative comments in the chat about that drove, Marcus. Yeah. yeah. No, kudos to you, Marcus, for 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 yeah. for doing that. And yeah. you know that, that reminds me. And you know our good friend, you know original Dobo. You know that's what I love about him. He doesn't care. You know he'll go out and he'll say it like it is, and that's what I like about Marcus. Marcus is just repeating his experience. He's put a lot of time and a lot of effort into it. Try to make that work. You know, I had that with that um, Holy Stone. Okay, I tried that with that Holy Stone. I tried several times to get it up to what you know in that range. It just wouldn't go more than I don't know how many uh, you know how, how many meters, and it was go- returned to home. You know, hey, it was just like so, so. Bill, you just touched on something. Holy Stone is another one of those is an Amazon brand. Now, I've had Potensic drones that actually worked and worked pretty good, but I'm trying to think of one Holy Stone drone that I've ever owned that actually worked as advertised and and they will occasionally send me a drone to review and it's always the same story. And and my concern is this, obviously they're still selling on Amazon. So people are still buying their product. How many people buy those drones and then go, Oh, well, this just isn't the hobby for me. It just doesn't really work. And it's more trouble than it's worth. And mentioned too, that a lot of those, the, the the top end potency drones are priced up right up there with the with the mini SE mini two drones. So you know you got to pay four hundred dollars for some of these potency drones, Marcus. That's true. Now Potensic tells me that they're going to come out with a version of this Atom drone that will have a three axis gimbal on it. Oh. Uh, and you know perhaps by the time that one comes out, they might have refined the flight controls and the transmission and so forth that it actually works. Uh, if if it does, great. And I told them that don't please still send me drones for review. I'd be I'd be happy to to review it at the time. And so I don't you know who knows they they they're not very happy about that review today. Check out check out Sean. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for the vote of confidence, Sean. <laughs> well, you know I, I I had to throw that out there because I I put that out there. I said yeah this came out on, on Drone DJ and and I'm so glad. You know, I I wanted you to talk about that tonight because, you know, like Drone DJ's whole thing was just, a you know, an advertisement for the drone. Well, and- I, I, you know, it, it makes me then when I, every time I look at a Drone DJ article now, I'm going to go, okay, what is this? I, it, that kind of made me sad when I saw that, Bill. Yeah, hey, the well, guy did, I, York, but didn't did admit he hasn't got the flight much because of bad weather. Well, yeah, that's what he said. He said he hadn't flown it at all. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's true. Well, hard to, but anyway, uh, hey, listen, uh, while we're on the same subject, I want to update because that sh- I reminded me seeing Sean's comment. Uh, the, the EXO drones uh, got a hold of me again. So they, they sent me another drone back. The gimbal went bad on that Blackhawk 2. I sent it back to them. They sent me another one back. It ha- it was a used drone, not refurbished. It ha- didn't have all the cables in it, everything else had the same gimbal error <laughs> as the one that I sent them was not the same drone. Cause I checked the serial number. I thought, God, did they just send me the same one back or something? But no, it was a different drone. However, I got a hold of them again. They said, Oh my God, we're so sore. Sorry. They sent me another label to return it. I sent it back and they already have sh- another one on the way to me. So we'll see what this one, how this one looks, but it, it was kind of good to, kind of check out their customer service and see if it's really all that. So far, I can say they have been responsive. Now, the the drone that they sent me back the first time, I can't imagine how that happened, how they sent me a a used drone that didn't work back. But anyway. Uh, uh, Mark, uh, customer uh, customer service is good over there, but um, quality control is not too good. Well, that that well, and listen. Here's what here I have some theories, and I don't know if this is true or not. But since they got bought out by that, uh, uh, what do they call it? Storefront or store? Open store. Open store. Since, since they got bought out by Open Store, listen, they probably have people. They probably have an OS and D where warehouse. Uh, overstock and damage is what OS and D stands for. Uh, they the Ron knows that from being in the shoe business, huh? Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, but they probably have people in there that don't know a drone from a tomato, right? And so they probably just had a guy that threw something in a box and sent it off. So well, anyway, 
Yeah. Just a yeah, guess. That's... I don't know. Just a guess. Uh, yeah, Marcus, well, you better contact Charlie personally and have him uh, take care of you on his. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Sean is right. You know, three drones before you get one to work. Hey, Sean, let me tell you, uh, with Femi, the Femi Mini, the Femi X8 Mini, it took four. The fourth drone actually <laughs> worked. Yeah. Uh, Sean doesn't know that in the U.S. we have baseball, Bill, and three strikes and you're out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's no four strikes here. Well, yeah. Mark has got four balls, I guess, on that on that uh, that that, X, uh, that one drone there. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Maddie is saying Charlie's probably in the Bahamas. I doubt it. I'll tell you, I would be shocked if they gave him a hundred thousand dollars for that company. I'd be shocked. Yeah. Charlie's probably pumping gas then, huh? Yeah, well, who knows? Or, or yeah. back in college again, or who knows? Any closing thoughts here, guys? Uh, well, well oh, go, go ahead, Marcus. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm just excited about that uh, that I'll tell Light Plus showing up tomorrow. I'm I'm pretty stoked about that. Hopefully, I'll get some decent weather. I can get some batteries charged and fly it. So so we'll see. Yeah, but Bill, think about that. He got a he got the Light Plus for like uh, about eleven hundred dollars or whatever after all his discounting. And he would have had to pay eight eight fifty nine for that that mini three flymore kit, and his 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 late plus is a flymore kit. So for just about what two hundred fifty dollars worth, he's got a much better drone. Uh, 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 you know, well it's not two hundred fifty grand, but in every other respect, it's probably going to be better. One is sensor, all of that stuff. I agree, Ron. Good That's point. good. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. So uh, my thoughts, Bill. I'm just letting mini three watch here. I guess. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm believing Lauren and them the 14th, but I'm going to be ready tonight just in case because you never know when DJI internally could change their plans. Maybe no matter what date it was, that doesn't mean they can't change. So I'm going to be on the lookout uh, the ninth, which is uh, I got today is the sixth, so that should be Friday. Bill, is that correct? The ninth, Friday, Friday. Yeah, so that's I will be. Uh, I will have my uh, you know my boots and stuff on Friday in case uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it comes out. But the 14th will be what the following Wednesday. It'll be a following Wednesday. Yeah. 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 So I hey, hey, Ron, if, if it is the ninth, would you send me a, send me a text? Uh, Cause I'll probably still be asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we well, will, we will s send you a text and uh, you know, um, uh, Said the buy, get the buy button now. The uh, the closet yeah. too. Yeah. Next week, um, because of my laptop experience, we won't be having a live show. I'm going to put a rebroadcast up. I'm going to pick out a great oh. episode from this year, and one I know you guys will like, and we'll, we'll we'll get it out there for you to see. So you know, and I'll make sure it'll say rebroadcast on, so you know we're not live. Um, but a week following that, we're going to have our Christmas giveaway. Oh, and good. You know, uh, you know, of course, you know, we'll have Ron here, Marcus here. I may invite a, a few other guests we'll have on. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, we're going to wear our, Valor, Valerie's going to be on. We're going to wear our Christmas lights, light, you know, around our neck and, and you know, and, and and have, you know, and making everything merry and bright. Got T-shirts, got cups, got mugs, got um, stickers, got pens. You got a whole host of we got, we'll have many threes by then to give away. Many yeah. threes, absolutely, absolutely. So, hey, Bill, before you sign off, uh, yeah. you might put, put Sean's comment up. He's yes, saying yes, that the UK Sean's retailer up. fourth from the leaked. bottom, yeah, okay. So, all um, right, thank you, Sean, for that. That's that's great information. So, question of the day What did you think of the DGI Mini 3 latest update? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and remember, it's always a great day to fly. <laughs>